With recent reports of more Chabok schoolgirls escaping Boko Haram, the atrocities inflicted by this Nigerian terrorist group are not being forgotten. Tonight, I talked to award winning Canadian journalist Melissa Fung, who went deep into occupied territory to interview some of these young girls who broke free from their captors as she reflects on her own experience of being kidnapped while covering a story in Afghanistan. Their currency is girls' bodies. They can be traded in exchange for weapons. The documentary Captive examines the pain, suffering, and mental health of young girls who escaped the so called forest in northeastern Nigeria, a section of the country that's dominated by Boko Haram militants. You know, the word kidnapping is a trigger for me. Canadian journalist, author, and filmmaker Melissa Fung tells me she felt compelled to tell this story after the trauma she suffered in Afghanistan back in 2008. I remember a blue car pulling up, men with guns jumping out, and then I was stabbed. While on assignment, Fung was kidnapped and chained to the inside of a tiny dark cave. It took weeks of negotiations until she was finally freed. <laughs> Good to see you. In April um, of 2014, we all woke up one morning and discovered that 276 girls had been kidnapped um, from their school in Chibok, Nigeria, and I was horrified. Fung quickly discovered those Nigerian schoolgirls were just the tip of the iceberg. Over the last four years, Fung and her crew traveled deep into Boko Haram territory. This is where she met a group of young women who survived some of the worst crimes against humanity. See, this is where the, I was stabbed too. It's the same mark, yeah? Were you able to connect with them on a much deeper level because of, of your experience in Afghanistan? I think that's what happened. We were able to have these really honest conversations between, between captives. Are you angry that this happened to you? It felt like you almost had a sense of, of guilt when comparing your experience to what these girls went through? You know, I had access to therapists, um, some of the best trauma therapists in the country. There are times when you need this professional help. Dr. Akilu in the film says, it's the last thing we think about because people are more worried about food, shelter, security. Is Boko Haram gonna come back? And, and mental health is a luxury. Fung wrote a best-selling memoir about her kidnapping called Under an Afghan Sky, documenting what happened during her captivity. But this is the first time she's sharing more of the aftermath that came from the trauma. We don't talk about this stuff enough, mm -hmm. right? We don't talk about the fact that, you know, women and girls disproportionately suffer in conflict. You know, and a lot of that has to do with gender-based violence, sexual violence. Captive airs on TVO this Tuesday. Shauna Hunt City News.